tracking. This is Next Weather. The incredible scenes, uh, three quarters of a mile wide. Uh, that tornado is just incredible uh, to watch on radar with my fellow Mets and then knowing what was happening uh, on the ground. Uh, they're going to need a lot of help, uh, no question about that. We're at 79 right now. We hit 87 degrees earlier this afternoon. The record was 91. It has been hot. It has been steamy, and we got a little relief, not with the cold front, but with our sea breeze and showers that have been colliding with each other here. I'll pause this to be able to see this is the last of the rainfall, right? And it has been ongoing as the shower have just bumped into each other and created more. And so now we've got this little cluster here along uh, Okeechobee. Everything pushes to the east. This will be moderate and eventually light rainfall. So it's not going to be the downpours we had had earlier. Some of us picking up over half an inch of rainfall. Very reminiscent of what we get right uh, during uh, the summer. The ingredients get together. You can have all sorts of weather any time of the year. And that's what happened uh, today uh, with available moisture from uh, the sea breezes and the uh, showers here. It's going to be another hot and humid day for uh, tomorrow. Then we get into a more significant event, I think, for a Wednesday in that. I think a lot of us will be impacted with showers and thunderstorms. The timing of that could be problematic for the evening commute, so we'll have to see if we issue an alert day for Wednesday. I think uh, the downpours could warrant that, but it will be breezy and less humid. This is what we want to get to behind the front. So Thursday, Friday, fantastic. It's going to be in the low 80s. We're going to have lower humidity, and uh, we're going to warm up over the weekend, but we'll take a couple of days of the heat and humidity break. There we are at uh, 7 or at uh, 3 o'clock. This ran a little faster there, but tomorrow I think will be a similar setup to today. I think the focus will be still once again across Broward and northern Miami-Dade. Everything then pushes offshore. This is the day that I'll be watching closely for you Wednesday with numerous showers and thunderstorms that are developing because we're going to have the assist of the front. That's going to lift all that moisture into the atmosphere, and we could have some locally heavy downpours that will linger into Wednesday night before we get rid of that batch. And then finally on Thursday, uh, we'll be in much better shape as we head into the afternoon. Uh, the boundary comes down and uh, we're going to replace it with a northeast wind that I think at least will get temperatures back to average for this time of year. Should be about 83. We're going to be in the mid and upper 80s once again for tomorrow. In fact, between that 86 and 83, I think we'll hit 88 degrees. It'll feel closer to 90, 91. And then we have our rain chance, which I may have to raise there for Wednesday. So we'll keep you posted. Dave Warren's in for Lisenta Gonzalez. He'll have the latest for you tomorrow morning. We'll be right back.